Every home can have holes and there are a number of things that can cause this. You may have dents or indentations. These could be caused by just general wear and tear. Or there may be movement or settlement cracks. These can occur in older or even new houses. Or more commonly, you may find wall plug holes. These could be from pitches or from shelves that you don't want anymore. So when it comes to filling holes or cracks, we need to make them worse before making them better. We need to dig the hole out to make the inside of the hole bigger than the outside. This will actually allow the filler to go into the hole evenly, dry evenly, without any chance of it falling out. Once you've done this, it's now time to get the vacuum cleaner out. Remove any dust that there may actually be sitting left in the hole. This will actually interfere with the way that the filler dries. Then take a damp sponge or brush to the surface, allowing it to soak into the plaster. This will allow the filler to dry evenly and reduce the risk of any cracks reoccurring. There are a variety of different fillers within the Polycell range for all sorts of different applications. In this case, I'm using Polycell Multipurpose. This is so that I don't have to mix up a powder filler and I can use it straight from the tub. If you're using a powder filler, it's always best to use a flat board to mix it on. This will allow you to mix the filler up nice and evenly with a nice creamy consistency. It's always best to avoid using an ice cream tub, just in case you do get lumps. For small holes in the room, you can use quick drying poly filler. It dries in 10 minutes and it's very convenient, very easy to use. You can just squeeze it straight out onto the knife and then fill your hole without need of mixing. And it's done.